In this screencast, we're going to show the basics of navigation in IntelliJ IDEA. This is the default setup when you start IntelliJ IDEA. Note that you have some navigation hints here, and we'll see some of these in action. IntelliJ IDEA has a navigation bar at the top, a series of tool window buttons along the edges, which let you open a window, the main project window on the left, which you can navigate using the mouse, the keyboard, or even typing to search something. When you open a file, the editor shows the file and displays a tab at the top. Each new file has a new tab. The editor also shows a breadcrumb trail to where you are inside the file. We can use these mechanisms to navigate in IntelliJ IDEA, but all of these things take up valuable screen space, which we'd prefer to use for showing code. Let's get set up with the advanced mode of using IntelliJ IDEA, which relies on just keyboard shortcuts. First, let's turn off the breadcrumbs. We can do this using the settings window by searching for breadcrumbs and then turning them off. You can see they're no longer shown at the bottom of the editor, but there's a simpler way to change a setting. We can use shift Control a or shift Command a to open Find Action and type the name of the setting. To turn off tabs, type tab and set tab placement to none. We can also turn off the navigation bar and the tool window buttons this way. Finally, to get the most screen space for the editor, we use shift Control f 12 or shift Command and F12 to hide all the side windows and expand the editor. How do we move around now? With a set of keyboard shortcuts. There are a lot of different ways to move around and we can use the ones that are most useful to us. Firstly, Alt plus a number or Command plus a number on the Mac opens up the tool windows. For example, Alt plus one for the project window Alt plus 9 for the version control window. Escape moves the focus from that window back to the editor, and we can use Shift Control F12 again to hide all the windows. If a window doesn't have a number or we forget what it is, we can use Control E or Command E to bring up the recent files list, which also shows all the available windows. Like all IntelliJ IDEA windows, typing here allows us to search. We can use the Recent Files window to quickly move to a file we've been to lately, and we can even use Camel Case to search these files for the one we want. Shift Control E or Shift Command E brings up a list of recent locations. This isn't just a file, but a location within a file, so we can navigate directly to a recent snippet of code. Often we know the exact name of the class we want to open. We can use Control N or Command O to open a search for classes. We could type the name of the class in here until just the option we want is available. Or we can use camel case or even partial class names to locate a class that matches. If we want to open a file that isn't a Java class, we can use Shift Control N or Shift Command and O to navigate to a file. With classes or files, after we type the name, we can type a colon followed by a line number and we can go straight to that line in the file. If we know the name of the method we want, we can use navigate to symbol, shift, control, alt and n, or alt, command and o, and type the method name. Again, camel case and partial names are supported. We can also add a class name or partial class name to search for symbols within a specific namespace. Once we're editing code, we can navigate to a declaration using Control b or Command b We can also easily navigate back to where we came from using Control alt and left arrow or Command alt and left arrow. We can navigate forward using Control alt and right arrow or Command alt and right arrow. If we're working with interfaces, navigating to the declaration might not be that useful. We can use Control alt and b or alt command and b to navigate to an implementation. Let's navigate to the declaration of this field. If we move the caret onto the interface name, we can use Alt and F7 to find the usages of this interface. 
This lists every word that calls methods on the interface, as well as the implementations of the interface. This can be another useful way to navigate to the relevant classes from the code that uses them. If we're doing test-driven development, we may find another method of navigation helpful. When we're inside a test class, and press Shift, Control and T, or Shift, Command and T, we will move into the class that the test is testing. If we're in a class, and we want to move to the test, or to see if it has a test, we can use the same key combination to see the tests and select one, or even to create a new test. If this is all a bit too much to remember, there's a simple shortcut for everything. Double tap Shift, and we get the Search Everywhere box. This lists the recent files by default. Type anything in here, and it will give a list of the files, actions, classes, symbols, and settings. Type forward slash to see the commands. Selecting one of these will give a list of appropriate options. If you find there's something you search for fairly frequently that doesn't easily show up in the results, you could, of course, create a keyboard shortcut for it. But you can also add an abbreviation, or keyword, to make it easier to find. Search for the action in the key map, press enter to bring up the menu on the item, select add abbreviation, and type the keyword you want to use in the search. Then, when you double tap shift to bring up the search, you can type this abbreviation and the action should be the first item in the list. Finally, there's one last area where keyboard shortcuts can be much quicker than using the navigation bar. We can run anything from anywhere inside the IDE by double tapping control. This brings up a list of recently run tests or applications and we can type the name of any run configuration to find it and run it. This is a fast way to start a test or service without having to navigate to the file itself or use the navigation bar. Control and F2, or Command and F2, brings up a list of processes we can stop. And we can press Control F2 a second time to stop all processes. In summary, the easiest way to navigate around IntelliJ IDEA is using the keyboard. This is much faster than using the mouse and allows us to free up valuable screen space for the code we're working on. Thanks for watching.